This is the checklist template at SharePoint-Boards.com. This is a template which allows you to have a list of tasks or milestones which you can simply check off by uh, checking into the checkbox on the right hand side. This can have as many as 15 tasks on it. We'll see how that dynamic functionality works in a second. As with all the templates, you should check out some different theme options. Uh, you can make the checkbox look however you want. There are many options listed at the bottom of the screen. Uh, so be sure to adjust the different configuration settings to get the look and feel that you want for your checklist. For our demonstration, I'm just going to go with the default theme one template. And this particular dashboard template does require that you download and install a SharePoint template file that's linked in the uh, help description in the bottom. This is a file called checklist.stp. And in order to get that installed, you will need to install it from the uh, gallery. There's more information linked in the instructions if you want to learn about that. But that is required for that. Once you've downloaded and installed that template, you can go ahead and create a list from the checklist template. And I've already gone to that step here. So make sure that you have at least one record. Uh, it only needs the title field to get started. And once you have that first record in place, you can create a view called checklist or whatever you want to name the view. And we're ready to apply the template. All that I need to do once I've applied all the settings that I want is click on the copy template button, follow the instructions in the pop-up window, and hit OK. And now I can come over to SharePoint, go to the view selector, click on format current view, advanced mode, select all, and paste then save. And there we go. There's our checklist. So you can see I've got a uh, task in there, project kickoff, and I have a line through effect when I type in items. So pretty easy. I can just click into fields. I can click into the title field and call it whatever I want. And then I can accordion expand and collapse my task list at any time. And if I need more tasks, I can click on the button at the bottom. That will go up to 15. And then of course I can remove them as well. If I want to delete that task list, I just hit delete. And then, of course, I can have multiple task lists. And as I say, I just need to, um, you know, hit add. And so I can look at multiple of them by using the accordion collapse. Um, you can see I could have many task lists showing in my view however I want. Um, by default, it's set to have five, but you can, you know, make that go all the way down to one if you want to. And as I say, you can go up to 15. If you need more than 15, then just, you know, have another list, another checklist, and you could call it, you know, part two or something like that. And then once I've done all those items, I can delete them. And that's all there is to it. It's really easy to work with this. Once you have it installed, it's very intuitive. You don't need to train users or anything like that. They can just click and check into fields and uh, just a very simple tool that you can work with for managing tasks in a uh, checklist format in SharePoint Online. This template is linked below the video. If you've not yet used SharePoint dashboards, you can go to this site and get access to 21 free templates and then the subscription package uh, will give you access to 171 different templates as of this video and those are shown in the gallery screen on the site. So I hope you found that useful. This is a very simple easy to understand checklist template. Uh, when you just have a checklist of tasks that need to be completed you can configure all of the look and feel however you want including all the colors, the font size, the icons, uh, pretty much everything about this, you can set it up to look according to your preferences. Good luck!